the person you cared about the most? What about my daughters? Their lives, their lives, Todd, were at stake and you did nothing. Mickey, I swear I didn't know what Tess was doing to me. You know what? You sound as stupid as Tina. Somebody else who risked my children's lives for her own needs. If I had known it was going so far. Did you make any effort to find out? This this indifference to what was happening to Natalie and Jared, what would what would you call it? Benign neglect? You know, I told Tess, I said, don't do anything stupid. Oh, did you? Tess is not a real person, and you know that. You cannot reason with her. It was complicated. You know, Bo told me that John McBain, when he was at your house, he saw Tess. He thought that Jessica was Tess, and that you knew it. I told you that, didn't I? And I didn't want to believe him. I said, no, no, no. Even Todd is not capable of that. I stood up for you, and my loyalty to you almost cost my children their lives. Now, Jessica's back, isn't she? Natalie's fine. So what, you, you think this is all just over for them, huh? I think they're both gonna be fine. What about Marty? Is she gonna be fine no, after what you did to Marty. her? Yes, we are talking about Marty. Because Marty's the reason you did all this. You used my daughter's illness, Jessica's illness, to keep your secret about Marty. Tess was at your house and she saw Marty, didn't she? So you made a deal with her. Her silence for your silence. I didn't think I had a choice. Jessica was sick. She needed help. If I could change it, I would. No, you wouldn't. You would do the exact same thing as long as it suited your needs. Todd, you know, I've... I have loved you when nobody else would. I've forgiven you your worst possible sin. How could you do this because to my children? Because I was children? in love with her. She was everything to me. She was all I could see. All that mattered to me. And I would have done anything not to lose her. So, tell me about Bess. Well, I can't tell you much. I was surprised to find out about her as you were. You never knew of this alter's existence before now? Never. You know, if Tess came out to act on my anger towards Natalie and Jared, then why did I create Bess? You know, why does she exist? I hope your medical malpractice insurance is paid up because you're going to need it. Brilliant. This woman who calls herself a doctor is responsible for the death of your grandchild. No. I'm the one with the negative blood. It was my fault. Sweetheart, no, it was not your fault, okay? It's not your fault. Star, you did absolutely nothing wrong. Nothing at all about the way you took care of yourself during your pregnancy had anything at all to do with why your baby died. I am completely at fault. And what are you looking for? Absolution? Uh, well, you're not gonna get it from us. Look at what you have done to these people. Lauren, please, let's just get... I... Dr. Joplin, isn't it very rare for the first RH positive baby of an RH negative mother to be affected by rhesus disease? It almost never happens. Often not until the third. That's why I didn't propose the anti-RHD injections when Star reached her 28th week. I just assumed... But, but are you sure that you're right about this diagnosis? Or, doctor, is this yet another one of your mistakes? Oh. Oh. Jared, how in the world did Tess give birth to Chloe alone? I don't know if we'll ever know that. But she did, and, well, physically, they're both okay. Are you ever going to be able to look at Jess and not see Tess? Hope so. But I'm not optimistic. You know, I've, I've been through this before. And I'll tell you, when Jess, when she's herself, I mean, really herself, she is so much Jessica that you, you just forget about Tess. But after what she did to us, after what Tess did to us... Kind of sticks with you, doesn't it? And Jess has not forgiven us for what happened to Nash. Which means that Tess could come back. I don't know, I just, I wish there was something that we could do to maybe make up for the things we started before Nash died. Something that would get Jessica to forgive us. I think, I think we can start by helping to take care of this little baby. 
I've spoken to your mother at length about Bess and about how she seems to be your version of your mother's gatekeeper personality, Jean Randolph. Uh, yeah, the, the fixer. Bess seems emotionally detached. She doesn't harbor anger or resentment. She doesn't want to be in control unless she deems that her control would be helpful. She cleans up after Tess's messes. And it appears so, yes. But there's been messes before this one. So, so why hasn't she done this before? You don't know that, Jessica. Bess isn't a fame seeker like Tess is. She isn't looking to be noticed. Well, she's been noticed now. So, what do we do about her? I mean, how do we find out what she wants? We ask her. Todd told me Tess was Jessica's nickname. There was not one thing that man didn't lie about. She's obviously very sick, and he did nothing to help her. Yeah, they both have secrets they use to keep one another quiet. This is just... Uh, um... Do you, do you, do you both really believe he would have gone through it, through with it stealing his own granddaughter? I know he was in the hospital when Star was in labor. And if the poor baby hadn't died. Is there nothing he won't do or say to get his own way? You love Marty Saybrook? What are you, delusional? Not about this, no. Then you're lying. I'm not lying. That's the only truth I have left. I fell in love with her. And she's in love with me. Stop! I love her. No! You raped her! Do you think I need you to remind me of that? I don't! What a joke, huh? Same mark. Same spot. Same crime. You can admit that it was a crime and still pretend to call it love? She didn't care how I used to be. Because you lied to her, Tom. No, because she looked at me and she saw who I could be. No, it was a lie. Not to her, it wasn't. Do you hear yourself? Yes, I do. <sighs> this didn't just happen, Vicky. Look. Look, same cut. Same place as the scar that branded me before. You remember, it reminded everyone of who I was, and now it's back. But I'm afraid the branding went a little deeper this time. Do you have any conception of the chaos and pain you've caused everybody you know? Sure, I, I, I hurt everyone I care about. Should sound very familiar to you. Victor did not do this. You did it. And you have nobody to blame but yourself. I'm sorry, I have to take this. Are you gonna be okay? I think I'll be okay. All right. Yes, Hannah. What? Everyone treats me like I could break. A lot of people care about you. Like you, you didn't give up. <clears throat> I guess that's all that matters. All right. Hi, I'm sorry. A little change of plans. I have to go to the hospital and negotiate with uh, the doctors for Todd's release so I can throw his miserable ass in jail. Um, can I drop you off on my way? Sure. Okay. okay. Or you could uh, stay and get something to eat and I'd. I'd be glad to drive you home. Is that okay with you? Yeah, sure. Okay, then. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. Sure. Bye. I don't know if my file's clear or not, Dr. Levin, but I just can't call up Tess or Bess for you to have a chat with them just because you want me to. I can make it happen. How? Hypnotherapy. If you let me hypnotize you, I can talk to Bess. Maybe she could shed some light on why she exists in the first place. The cause of death.